Hello there, Pisces. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the month of December 2023. It is the end of the year, you guys. I cannot believe it. Where did the time go? But uh, let's see what's coming in for you um, in love and relationships. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not all of the messages are going to be for every single person watching. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. And you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I am also available for personal readings, and you can take a look at my website. You can go there to select, purchase, and schedule your appointment with me. So let's see what's going on for you at this time in love and relationships. And thank you for watching um, my little uh, intro video. Um, I do make blessed and dressed seven-day devotional candles and milk and honey spiritual baths. Um, if you would like more information about those, um, just send me an email. All of my information is in the description box under the video. So we're going to pull an overall energy message first for you, Pisces, and let's see what you can expect in love and relationships. All right, you've got the siren. A temptation leads you astray. Okay, so this is very Piscean energy. You might be dealing with another Pisces, or there's some sort of uh, siren here. A, tempt, a temptress or a tempter um, that might lead you astray. Um, it could be a false twin. It could be a karmic soulmate. Not all karmic soulmate connections are bad. They're there to teach us lessons, right? Um, or you're there to teach them a lesson. Um, but in folklore... Um, Sirens lead sailors to their demises. Um, and on the bottom, you've got caduceus. You will receive news from afar. So some of you could work in the medical industry. Some This news is going to be something that's going to bring about some healing. Maybe you're going to hear from a long lost love who's telling you that they're sorry for what they did, that, you know, they were led astray. Um, you're their person. Um somebody got off their path here it, it could be anything but you could hear from someone that um this news could knock you for a loop so we'll just set that over there but i just wanted to show you what was hanging out in the bottom it has to do with some sort of communication all right let's see what else spirit wants to share with you pisces Love and relationships, divine soulmates, twin flames, life partners, whatever. Okay. Remember, our first relationship is with ourselves. Okay. All right. That wanted to come out. It is the Eight of Swords. Hmm. few more here. You've got the Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, Six of Swords. On the bottom, you've got the Tower. All right, well, somebody is here. She's sound asleep here. Somebody, somebody has these repetitive thoughts, and somebody has been fighting here. Somebody was offered a holy grail of love here, the Ace of Cups. They're awakening to their feelings. There's an outpouring of love. Somebody is opening up. There's some sort of blessing coming in. Somebody's been blocking their own blessings. Somebody's been trying to resist their true love. They're trying to resist this. And something has led you astray, Pisces. Or led your person astray. But I feel like somebody isn't giving up on this love. And you're not going to see this coming. It's going to happen out of the blue. 
if there was some sort of obstacle or blockage, other people in in your way, in your path, something preventing you from your blessings, there could have been, like I said, a toxic person here trying to come in between you and your, your true soulmate. You're not going to let that happen again. Somebody's really beating themselves up over this. And whatever was built on sand with rubber bands and popsicle sticks has come crashing down. Somebody suddenly realizes that this was not their person. It was a false twin or a karmic. Somebody wearing a mask. Someone trying to get in between you and your person. You are, They're trying to block your blessings here. Somebody didn't see what was right in front of them the whole time. But you're moving on here. You've got the Six of Swords. Okay, this is what happens when you've gone through it, when you've been through a lot of shit. And you're just moving forward now into calmer waters, moving on from this and learning that lesson. Maybe suddenly realizing that you have to move, move on now. You could hear about someone um, who ends up in the hospital. Um, the tower in traditional, in old tarot, like back when represented a hospital, an infirmary. Okay. Again, you could be dealing with someone who's not well right now. Um, you could... Um, Realize that there needs to be some sort of healing here so you can move on. The sun is rising in the background here. It's coming up. And you're not giving up. There's hope here. Maybe someone's realizing that someone moved on. Someone realizes they need to move on so that you can find your true happiness here. Someone's finally awakening, releasing themselves. Wherever they were, it was keeping them stuck. This could be you, Pisces, or other people that are around you in your energy. We're going to clarify the natures for you. be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. All right, let's clarify the siren up here. Ace of Rings, which is the Ace of Pentacles in this deck. There's a new opportunity here, something real. Um, there's a solid new beginning here, a blessing. It's the Minor Arcana version of the Sun. It's something that's going to lead to growth and abundance. You want something real and tangible. And someone who is open with their feelings, who, you know, isn't going to keep you stuck or wondering or, you know, leading you off of your, the path that was meant for you, the person keeping you from the person that was meant for you. You're tired of fighting, you're, but you're not giving up on love. Clarify this tower for Pisces. Seven of rings, so more earth energy here. So this is a matter of time. It was a matter of divine timing. You know, now that everything's fallen apart, everything's burned to the ground, now you're looking back at everything and assessing it. Something's been happening over the last seven years. 
And now you're going to suddenly realize what happened here. So you could have been dealing with someone who was just keeping you stuck, making you second guess yourself, preventing you from feeling safe enough to open up, um, blocking you from your blessings. This could be yourself doing this, or again, it could be this siren person. Okay, this is a time to stay focused, and now you're kind of reassessing everything after the tower has crashed down, All everything's falling apart, your life is falling apart, and this has been something that's been taking place over the last seven years. It's been a process, right? And um, you need to let that go. This was something that was, it was like, like I said, it was uh, built on sand with rubber bands and popsicle sticks here. It was some sort of a distraction. Okay, and now it's time to move forward and put that stuff behind you um, because there's a dawn of a new day here. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, we'll just take a peek at the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's like a lot of inner conflict, drama here, fighting, arguments, jealousy. Someone may have treated you like an option. There's, you got problems. We had a lot of problems to solve, but they're coming out of that. Like I said, right now you're just you're waking up and you're starting to realize a few things, and you need to move forward now. Okay, get yourself unstuck. This is a self-imposed prison. Stuck in your head. You need to move forward, Pisces. Okay. All right, let's get an advice message from Spirit. And then we'll grab a few love cards for you. All right, you've got hope, anticipation, bright prospects, a wish. So there is hope here. All hope is not lost. This is not a lot. You're not a lost cause, Pisces. Okay. There's hope here. Okay. There's always hope. Okay. It's not time to throw in the towel here. Again, you need to let something end so that something better can come in so that you can move forward towards better things that are uh, meant for you. Or better people, better relationships. You're done with empty promises. You're tired of people keeping you stuck. People who are hanging on to you for the wrong reasons. I see someone who is like fighting back their tears. There's just a lot of emotion here. This is a tough decision to make. It's creating some conflict, but you know what you need to do, Pisces. You know what you need to do. you got to do what's best for you. All right, let's get a few love messages on this. You've got wings of love. Love is transforming you either by flying in or flying out. There's a lot of change, metamorphosis, growth here. Spreading your wings, getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of this stuck energy. Self-love. Self-love is the cornerstone of sharing true love. Cherish you. You are not going to allow someone to keep you stuck, to prevent you from moving on with your life, you're not going to allow anyone to, you know, give you empty promises and you're not seeing anything moving forward. You don't see this connection going anywhere. So it's time for you to move forward and, you know, choose you. Snowflake crystal. This love bond is as unique as a snowflake. Once in a lifetime love. I feel like you're 
going through a lot of change right now, an awakening, you're, you're choosing higher vibrational things that are better for you, people that are better for you. Okay. And then you've got power. True power is liberating and transforming. You are taking your power back, Pisces, from this siren. You're taking your power back. She's got nothing in her eyes there. Her eyes are soulless. No expression. It's all fake. All smoke and mirrors, Pisces. Okay. Nothing to offer you. Okay, so take your power back. Beautiful reading for you. Let me know what happens. If you need a personal reading, uh, go to the description area down below and uh, check out my website. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.